Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a very beautiful game played between Tarjakin and Dave. This game is played in 11th King tournament. And here Tarjakin is playing with white pieces and Dave is playing with black pieces. Tarjakin starts with d4, knight to f6, bishop to f4, d5, e3, bishop to f5. These are all opening moves. And here Bishop to b4, queen check, knight to c6, knight to f3, castling, rook to c1, d take pawn, and bishop captures pawn a6, black intending to play pawn to b5 and forking queen and bishop, so white uh, retreats his queen to d1, knight to d5, bishop captures knight, queen captures bishop, a3, bishop captures knight, and here rook captures bishop. Here uh, black played rook to c8, castling, bishop to g4, rook to c5, attacking this queen, black ca black captured this knight, white captured this bishop, black captured this queen and distorted the white pawn structure. Here black uh, played rook to g8, c4, rook to g7, rook to c1, f6, king to f1, king to f7, and king to e2. Both player are activating their king also in the game, as queen is off the board, so it is important to activate your king also. Here, black played rook to e8, uh, intending to play e5, if possible, in uh, coming moves. Here, white played b5, breaking this uh, on very nice pawn structure here black captured this pawn rook j pawn and now this rook is uh, intending to capture this pawn and here black played sorry here first black played e5 attacking this uh, bishop and this pawn so white captured this pawn black captured this pawn and there is attack on the bishop, so white retreats it, and then uh, to defend this pawn, black played knight to knight to d8. Sorry, and here by playing this, uh, black is actually losing this pawn. So here, white capture this pawn, black capture this rook, and white recapture the rook. And here, black played c6, defending this c6 c7 pawn. Here. Black here, white played f4, establishing his uh, bishop over this f5 square. Here, black played g6, a4, uh, and marching his pawn toward you know, it becomes dangerous here. The end game if it go far away. So, here, black here, here black played king to e6, bishop to g4, rook to g5. This moves. A tick move actually, and here a black player rook to d5, rook to b1, king to d7, bishop to f6, and here black player king to e7, e4, attacking this rook, rook goes to d7, king to e3, knight to e6, bishop to e5 check, king goes to e8. Rook goes to c1 and here black played rook to f7 and h4 played by white king goes to d7 h5 knight goes to f8 uh, if white capture here this pawn then black will capture this with his knight and there will pass pawn created on dash 5 for black so here first uh, white uh, give check rook check king goes to e8 now rook to h1, rook to d7, a5, king goes to f7, rook goes to c1, knight to e6, h6, and look out this king, this king is, uh, cannot move here or here and here, so it is restricted now, and here black played knight to d8, and here white played rook to a1. Knight to e6, a6, pawn take pawn, 
rook capture pawn c5 rook goes to a8 and actually black is intending to play his rook over this h8 square and here black played rook to b7 and here white played rook to h8 and here actually this uh, pawn is losing and there is no defense in there so after playing after black played this uh, rook check and white played this simple king to e2 move black resigned because actually there is no move to prevent this pawn from uh, getting promoted to queen and if uh, if black tries to do so he have to uh, uh, sacrifice is one piece like uh, either knight or either crew uh, either rook so in both cases this position is lost for black so here they resigned and attacking them that's it i hope you have liked it and uh, thank you for watching it and stay tuned for more videos thank you